Hello, Lior. Uh, thank you so much for talking to me. Um, I was just, uh, maybe we could start by uh, talking about how you, your background, how you got into the compositional field, um, some general uh, inspirations, compositional concerns. Sure. Hi, Len. So uh, background is like this. I mean, more likely I did completely the opposite way of what one would do for getting to be a composer, I guess. Um, I started from, from actually from electronic keyboard, moved uh, in my teenagers, I moved into jazz, still with synthesizers and everything. Uh, when I was 17, I got my first uh, piano then, only then. Um, and only then I started getting into, no, even later, classical music. It was all improvised. Um, I had to do an army service three years uh, as a musician. I mean, it happened to be that I managed to do this as a musician. So I got quite a lot of uh, stage experience uh, starting uh, 18, between 18 to 21. I was five, five to six concerts uh, a week all over the place uh, for different audiences. So I learned uh, the stage upside down. And, um, and, and then actually the classical music started to kick in. It happened through, the connection was between the jazz of uh, Bill Evans and the impressionism of uh, Debussy and uh, Ravel. This was basically the link. And, uh, and uh, still everything was improvised. Of course, I studied already like, like classical, classical pieces and repertoire. And uh, the academy changed everything where I studied uh, my bachelor's degree. There I had to make a lot of, uh, to, to complete a lot of uh, things that I was missing. So I sat, simply sat and studied all 15 symphonies of Shostakovich, or so and so and so and so and so and so and so, and so kind of to, to close the gap. And, uh, and, and the composition there was also, basically it is still based on improvisation. I come always with, uh, with um, it always starts with a certain tone or a certain uh, note configuration that uh, I find interesting on the on the piano, and then I run to the to the shelf and uh, grab a sheet uh, uh, sheet paper and uh, write it write it there. So that's basically basically how it goes. Um, so it's quite opposite background uh, than, than uh, normal classically trained composer. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I can kind of relate. I, I started out as a rock musician, just improvising until I was also like a teenager. Uh, and then I discovered oh, yeah. the existence of classical music. Do you find that like um, you ever have uh, an issue with like compartmentalizing those like parts of your musical self, the the sort of improv part versus the like very like precisely notated uh, classical composer part? Like, how do you like, rec do you see a separation between those things? Do you ever struggle to reconcile them? Mm, well, it's interesting because, because in, a, in a way they're two separated worlds, but in a way they're also integrated. So, so during the composition process, definitely they're integrated. Uh, while rehearsing and uh, and preparing the score and uh, and uh, rehearsing the piece, definitely uh, no place for improvisation. It has to be precise. Uh, of course, there is place for improvisation. Whatever can make the piece better, you make the piece better. But but as far as what I demand from the musicians is, of course, being precise and. Uh, and this goes to the the composer badge that I carry here uh, um, on my chest. But there is also the the active improviser 
uh, um, badge that I carry, and this goes to um, really making uh, uh, CDs uh, basically out of uh, uh, going into the studio and improvising for a few hours and picking up the right uh, uh, takes out of it and basically uh, doing a CD. Plus I had, uh, now it doesn't exist anymore, I had an ensemble uh, that basically all we were doing was, uh, uh, my colleagues did not like the title free improvisation, we called it uh, um, live composition because yes, it has of course a certain uh, form form elements attached to it and we use that of course and then we use this also for uh, silent films so so uh, we did a complete silent film with with uh, with uh, um live uh, live uh, improvisation to it that's so very they're, cool they're completely separated the uh, fields but still integrated yeah that totally makes sense that's very fascinating um, that's probably about all we've got time uh, to discuss. I I'm so excited to hear your piece on November 12th. And uh, I very much look forward to uh, speaking with you more in the future. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you so much.